Hi, this is Rajamanikam. I am going to explain about our online QTP training program. If you are interested to join, you can contact me at rajamanikam.ia at gmail.com. If you are having any questions, you can post it in our forum at qualitypointtech.net slash forum. This training program is about learning QTP and uh, uh, solving issues whenever you are doing QTP automation. So, before start learning QTP, you should know what is software testing and the importance of test automation. We will first start with basics of QTP, like uh, uh, understanding overview of QTP, how it's working, uh, how we need to start learning. Those things I will explain first. I will be explaining about uh, add-in concepts in QTP and uh, various add-ins available. Actually, I have worked in various add-ins with the uh, .NET and uh, mainframe. I will be explaining the difference between <coughs> various add-ins. And I will be explaining about uh, the IDE used for creating QTP scripts, uh, like a toolbar, object repository, object spy, test pen, <coughs> like keyword view, expert view and about data table uh, and active screens what are the uses of these things next I will be giving detailed explanation about object repository it is very important to understand the uh, working of object repository uh, you need to understand the object identification also So I will be explaining about various recording modes and various run modes and uh, also I will be explaining about the different types of object repository and which one we need to use and uh, why we have to use that one and how to use that one in a team of multiple developers and I will be explaining about the basic units like uh, uh, tests and actions and uh, different types of actions and the various operations like uh, creating actions, splitting actions and uh, how to delete it and uh, call it and uh, copy it those things I will be explaining okay. and very important thing is checkpoint so there are lot of checkpoints available in QTP I will be giving detailed explanation and uh, demo about adding checkpoints these things lot of checkpoints are available and uh, some of them will be supported in uh, some add-ins some will not be supported I will be explaining those things and uh, data tables used for data driven testing I will explain how to use them through expert view as well as keyword view different types of data variables and uh, <coughs> parameterization uh, and I will be explaining about the result windows output values uh, uh, explaining about the uh, recovery scenario wizard and the testing process like planning creating script enhancing execution and leasing descriptive programming, synchronization, regular expression, and use of environment variables, scripting is VBScript, automation framework, automation object model, and automation processes. And I will be explaining about the automation framework, various tools and tips like best practices. That's it.